Time for the Wiggy Word. Word, word, word. Word on the street. It's a text page that he sends me once a week to just tell me what's up in his world. Here's what uh, this week's is. Quote, getting my swizzy on, comma, vibing to Stevie B, and nice in wild DG, comma, getting ready for my man of steel, hashtag beach flow. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what any of that means. Well, uh, you, well, well. Other than is Stevie B from Hip Hop LA? No, that's Hip Hop Atlanta. No, that's Stevie J. Okay, yeah, so, so then close, I don't know any of these close fellows. Enough. When you when you when you sent it, I was at the gym, so basically getting my swizzy on meant was I was getting my swole on, working out, vibing to Stevie B, and nice and wild. Stevie B is you know uh, Spring Love, uh, nice and wild, Diamond Girl. That's what DG is, Diamond Girl. You ever heard Diamond Girl? Sure. Yeah, that's yeah. all. It's Seals and Croft, right? No, nice and smooth. What? <laughs> Nice and wild. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that was the original. That's Diamond Girl. My day. Yeah. Well, I'm talking a little bit like late 80s, early 90s, East Boston. <laughs> and then when I said getting my man of steel on meant, you know, I'm getting my Superman on, getting my beach flow ready. Got to hit the beach, you know, shred it up, ready so, to go. So basically, I text him, said, what's going on? He says, I'm working out. Well, that's yeah. basically it, right? That's how I would have answered like That cleared up. <laughs> Quote, watching my boy, B-O-I, is that right, boy? Watching my boy Scrap get his Fizz Nye on. Check out 42 at Drops Knowledge, and you need to get on French. That's your assignment. You are your assignment for the next couple of weeks, exclamation point. What does that mean? Well, when you, when you text me, I was watching Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, so you know my boy Scrappy put them paws on him. Um, 42 is Jackie Robinson movie. Got to go check it out. Really drops a lot of knowledge. Didn't know a lot of things that, you know, kind of went through with, throughout his career. Must-see movie. And then um, when I said French, French Montana is a rapper. You really need to go get his CD. That's your assignment. You know how I said, you know, watch Love and Hip Hop? And I did. Now your assignment is to go French Montana. French Montana. Yes. I'm Con- writing this down. Conventional spelling on that? Yeah, French, yes. And then Montana, like Tony Montana. Not like the, or the or state? Yes. Would that be yeah. the same? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Conventional Monta- spelling. That's where he gets it from. And just his music. Just check him out. And um, he's somebody, you know, make sure you go Google him or something. Yeah, Listen to I'll, a couple I'll tracks. Him. I'm sure he's right up my alley. All I can say is the bees got me funky, comma, saw Man of Steel, and I'm still bugging out off of it, you fizz nye. <laughs> Please translate. Well, the bees got me funky, mean, and I'm feeling good about the, the bees, man. They, they've, they've made everything, you know, in my day-to-day life just, it's good to see where they're at two wins away. And, uh, um, so that means that, and then when I said Man of Steel, it's still, I went and see it. Man, if you haven't seen it, Go see it. I'm still bugging on how good it was. That that means it was so so good. I w- it's hard when I when I first thought about Man of Steel. So bugging's a good thing. Bugging's yes. a good thing yeah, good because thing. I I didn't know what to expect. You, you know, didn't get funky. No, no, I didn't get funky. I didn't know what to expect because this there's been other Supermans, but man, it was written so. And basically, Fizz Nine means you you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the fact, right? Yeah, that's it. You got it? Yeah, who said that in the uh, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta that I watched? Little Scrappy. Little Scrappy Little said scrap. that. So I did. I sort of kind of understood that yeah. one, Jimmy. This was his text page this morning. Quote, this is the end. Save your, you are, save your beans. It ain't worth it. L-H-H-A-T-L, which I actually know what that means. Yep. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Is getting juicier. You better catch up, you dig. Please translate. Um, this is the end. Was that movie with um, Seth Rogen and James Franco and all those? Save your money, save your beans. It's not worth it. Wait till it comes out on DVD. You expect more comedy, you don't get a lot out of it. And loving hip hop. If you're not caught up to it, you better catch up to it because it's getting juicy and it's going down. Give me one detail. Um, one detail. I think now Jocelyn yeah. wants Stevie J to marry and put a ring on it, and she's putting the pressure on him. Did he give her her contract details, and did he give her the crack that she was looking for? No, no, he didn't give her the contract details, but she's pushing him for marriage. Because she wants a contract, or she really wants to get married? Well, I think she really wants to get married. So she's playing him. She, I think she is, but he's really playing her at the end of the day, because he's not going to... And Scrappy's looking at some jail time, which Ooh, what is did he do? I'm uh, down on Stevie J. Uh, no, probation violation. Ah. Uh-huh. You know, so he's back and forth with his the baby mama, Erica, and now she, the other one, Shay. How about Mother D? Is she uh, still involved with that? Yeah, she's still the, she's still the queen of the south. Is she still pushing her daughter? No, or no, the other one. Th- she's not really pushing the other one now because uh, the, his baby's mother has kind of come to his his aid in his time of need. Okay, maybe I'll catch up over catch the fourth. Up. Yeah. Yo, it was his text page this morning. It's time for him to translate. Quote: If you haven't seen it, check. I think that's what that means. CK. If yep. you haven't seen it, check it out. BET Awards has Def got their weight up. 
Kells and Uncle Charlie ripped it. You got to catch up. Please translate. Okay. The BET Awards, big award show that they do on BET. For black people. Um, well, not for black people, but it's for a lot of people. <laughs> well, I mean, it's black entertainment black television. Black entertainment television. television. It's okay. It's just a network. Justin Timberlake was uh, was there, so I mean. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, um, yeah. A little diversity there. Yes. So the award show, I mean, they've really taken it up. They've really, Can we get the Ebony and Ivory going? <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've really they taken the, awards, the award show to another level. It's, it's, it's done very professional. It's, it's done very professional now. Um, so you got to check it out. Kells and Uncle Charlie is our Kelly. He's back. Performed well. What, why is he Uncle Charlie? Well, Uncle Charlie is Charlie Wilson. Our Kelly yeah. is Kells. Okay, you got and, it, got it, got it. And Uncle Charlie's Charlie Wilson from the Gap Band. Is Kells the, the guy that did that thing to that poor girl on that video? Speaking of liquids. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of liquids. But all, I mean, some, he had some great classics that he brought out. I mean, great classics. That's what Cavendish had going on in the Tour de France. Kish hadn't Googled that by now. And got the I, R. Kelly treatment. And, and my point was, when I said to you, you, you need a, you got to catch up, it's like, you have to get a little bit more hip. I mean, you can't... Listen, I even know Paul McCarthy's songs. McCartney. 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 So, excuse me, but I know his songs. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I can tell. I, I do, but I, I, I know some of the Beatles songs. You got to be able to... You got to be more diverse. Get out of the bubble. You live too much in a bubble. I'm very comfortable there. I think I'm going to stay right there in that bubble. <laughs> we can negate it right now. We can do what now? Bonus word on the street. I'm now going to give you a text page. That I read last night. I'm not going to tell you who it was from or who it was to. But I want to see if you can translate. Because it had this similar feel to some of your crap that you sent me <laughs> on a daily basis. But this is from one individual to another individual. <laughs> but this is what the text page said. Ready? Quote. Yep. I'm coming to grab that tonight. You gone be around. I need that. And we're going to step up for a little again. End quote. Okay. What do you think he said? He says he's coming to get that. Now, that could mean many different things. Such as? Such as, you know, uh, you know drugs, guns, whatever it may be. Something that he does not want to put, he doesn't want to put out there, you know. But that that is, there's meaning to the there's, that. There's meaning to that. That can mean a bunch of different things, but it's something that you don't want over the text airways. Okay. Um, so he's, he's, he's coming to get that. I hope, and he said what? And then tonight, you gone, be around, I need that. Yep, so meaning you're going to be around, I'm going to come get you, you better have what I'm looking for, you know what that is. And then um, when and we, we could step for a little again. That means, and we can hang later, you know, another time. But I need to come get what I need to get, give it to me, and then later we can hang out some other time. Okay. Interestingly. Allegedly. Allegedly, Beetle. Allegedly. So, so that. So, so what I, does that tell you there? So that means, when I, if I was going to translate this to what you understand, that would mean I'm coming to get some drugs. That's that's what I would think. Well, he did have the scale and the plate in the uh, safe, although Beetle tells me that was really for the cooking needs. So you yeah. got to measure out the... You have it in the kitchen. <laughs> no, you could be waiting. You could be um, weighing gold or oh, diamonds. Oh, yeah. So definitely. Yeah. It's for jewelry. It's yeah. why it's in the safe. Just vibing to Biggie. Da goat. Seeing what's good in the hood on UG and WSHH dot 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 Yao Ming. Now, that one I have no idea <laughs> whatsoever it. you're talking about. You didn't get the first part at least. Well, Biggie Smalls? Yeah, just, just vibing vi to Biggie. Yeah, listening to Biggie, just vibing the GOAT, greatest of all time. Uh, seeing what's good in the hood um, on UG. What's UG? UG is urban gossip and, you know, WSA, that's world star hip hop. Aha. Uh -huh. W S H H. So basically, you're vibing, you're listening to Biggie Smalls, mm -hmm. who's the greatest of all time, yeah. yep. GOAT, and you're surfing the web, yep. going to your African American sites. Just seeing what's going on. Okay, UG. I go to a lot of sites, but at that time, I was. UG is what now? Uh, Urban Gossip. And W S H H is? World Star, World Star Hip, Hop. Hip Hop. What happened yeah. to Black Sports Online? That just, you know, there's a lot of different Rotation. Yeah. <laughs> a rotation. A rotation. World Star Hip Hop, yeah. where you're probably watching like some girl in the McDonald's yeah. get her like, yeah, you know, face bashed in. She see what's right? it. As she uh, was like ordering a cheeseburger. Urban Gossip has a bunch of different sites, you know, media takeout and a lot of different things. And, you know, it's, it's good to kind of see what's going on. All right, what's the, the pancakes of the IHOP? And the what's the Yao Ming business? Yao Ming. Huh? That, that's like saying, you know what I mean? It's a short way of saying, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, so I, mean, uh, yeah, I, mean. I like it. Got it. <laughs> Quote, Eastie Olympics is Bizak. It's, no apostrophe, that time to ham and break out cuckoo juice? C-O-O-C-O-O -O -O juice. You diz nae. 
Yes. Exclamation point, exclamation point. Please translate. Okay. We're having our annual East Olympics. You know, after our, our, our hockey season's over, you know, we all go back to DJ Dave's house and, you know, we have our Olympics, you know, uh, the feats of strength, you know, those type of things. Is that like a bong Olympics, that <laughs> well, sort of no, thing? No, it's it's a lot of different things. It's axe throw. It's uh, police takedown. We're actually we're actually even going to have... <laughs> Explain the police takedown. Police, <laughs> police takedown because some of the guys that play hockey are in law enforcement, so... You know, after we get the cuckoo juice, and, you know, it's it's kind of worked its, it's way. Loose, yeah. yeah, it's lubed you up a little bit. Now we have police takedown. So one person plays the police officer, and the other one plays the criminal. Which one are you? Uh, I'm usually law enforcement. Yeah, right. I'm usually law <laughs> what enforcement. What a load of crap am, that is. Well, because in police takedown, sometimes you could be getting outnumbered two to one, or even three to one. <laughs> so, so, basically, that's what we're doing. And there's a lot of different events. We have dumbbell hold. <laughs> There are a lot of the, – we're actually going to – I was going to see if maybe we can get the Audio Roadshow next week to come up with some events and maybe we'll actually even put them in to this year's 2013 East Olympics and see if we can – and then we'll talk about it. This is basically the guys you play hockey with back in your backyard. Yeah. At the end of the season. I but think, I think we should do the police takedown. Yeah. Uh, Billy and Beetle against yes. the interns. There you go. So what does it mean? It's time to ham? Yeah, that means we go ham, turn it up, we get crazy, we get the cuckoo juice. And when I said, uh, you know, as you, there's Naeem, I, I mean, we need to invite you out there, bring a camera from Comcast, you know, bring one of the, the fellas out, we'll get it on film, and then boom, we can get you in some of the events. Okay, sounds good. Isn't cuckoo, how would you spell cuckoo? Uh, cuckoo, C-U-C-K-O-O. See, but you're cuckoo. spelling cuckoo, we spelling it C-O-O. C-O-O. Yeah, you also Cuckoo. spell Olympics with two L's. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Quote. I smashed the homies with the vicious, parentheses, Rasta voice. Word play. I'm going to celebrate the victory. Jeff Gordon style. Ghost riding the whip Sunday. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> I have no idea. Please <clears throat> translate. I, when, I, when I said I smashed the homies, that's basically I, I killed Wallach and Zoe on the rap battle today. And when I said uh, vicious and then I put in parentheses, Rasta voice, that's because I wanted you to, if I was going to say it to you, I was via shas. Via shas. Via shas. Yeah. Via shas with the word play. That's, so that's kind of where I, I went with that. And when I said I'm going to celebrate with a big victory, um, Jeff Gorna style, Ghost Rider in the Whip, I kind of tied it in. I'm, I'm going to be doing an event Sunday at Pride Chevrolet, and I'm going to see if I can get one of those Camaros with the drop top, you know, one of them topless Camaros, and see if I can Ghost Ride the Whip. Around I, the I find line. it interesting that you want a Camaro topless, but you don't want Paulina Gretzky. <laughs> <laughs> and I still don't know what that means, that Ghost means, Riding the Whip. That means I'm going to be down there hanging out. It's a big car show. At Pride, we're going to be celebrating. We're going to be signing autographs. Ghost Rider and the Whip is turning the music up real loud, and you kind of sit on the side of it, and it kind of drives on its own. You know what I mean? But you go, <laughs> so it's Ghost Rider and the Whip. Via shots. That sounds like a <laughs> that via shot. Via shots. Yeah, Google Ghost Rider and the Whip. No, I'll take your word for it. it sounds like <laughs> an East Olympics event, though. Uh, no, it's actually a West Coast thing. Oh, okay. Oh, in Oakland. Go ahead. Right. Thank you. I can't take lances anymore. I was on the two The Things to get a parmy, they think they Tony Starks. End quote. Yeah. I have no idea what that means. Well, I know Tony Starks is Iron Man, isn't he? Yeah, he's Iron Man. So there you go. I was on the way to Fat Fingers to get a chicken palm. And there's these Lance Armstrongs. Everybody's in the biking nowadays. They got the suits. They got the spandex suits. They got the, the things with the water bottles in the back. And they got the things that come up on the air. And they're biking. And they're, like, all over the street like they're Tony Stark. Like, they're made of iron. Like, just... You know, hands up, signals, cutting cars off. And I'm just, I'm at the point now, we should really build like, you know how they have dog parks? We should build like bike parks where they can all go and ride their bikes. And they, they cut you off. They don't, they don't care. Like I said, they just cut you off. When I was riding a bike, hey, there's a sidewalk over there. Get on the sidewalk. There's a, you see plenty of sidewalks in there. They want to be in the middle of the street like they're flowing with traffic. Okay. I can't take <laughs> lances anymore, so I get it. You don't like bike riders. Yeah. I was on the to the things? What does that mean? I was on my way to the things. I was on the way to the things. Yeah, fat fingers. Fat fingers to get a parmy. Yeah, chicken got, palm sub. Got it. All right, very good. Next. 